Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I would like to go over should you sell on Amazon or your own website, so be sure to watch all the way through so you don't miss any of the important details as we do have a lot to cover. Now, before I hop into this video, if you are new to this channel you're going to want to subscribe as I talk about the best ways to make a full-time income with Amazon FBA and always get straight to the point. With that said let's get right into this video. Now, if you're ready to start your online business, you have an important decision to make. Start selling on Amazon or selling from your own site. So, which is better? First, let's go over what you get with your own website that you can't get from Amazon. Just because everyone is doing something doesn't make it the best thing to do. Amazon is no different. Between the fees and regulatory hoops to jump through, maybe you'd be better off running your own website. It's a valid thought. Let's take a look at some of the ways your own site may be a more attractive opportunity for your online business. First, building your own website is easier than ever in 2021. Between WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify, your options for creating a personalized business hub are plentiful. Each of these services offer various levels of pricing along with free trials or even free versions with ads. Most of these website builders offer accessible tutorials, a library of pre-made site templates, dedicated support, and social media connectivity. It doesn't matter if you're building an entire e-commerce headquarters or merely a blog to support your more simplistic business model. Another benefit of doing business on a self-hosted website is the lack of competing entities. In larger pools like the Amazon Marketplace, it can be more difficult to wrangle customers who are constantly being inundated with buttons, ads, and funnels prompting them to shop for similar products. When a shopper visits your site, rest assured that you are the main event, not just an opening act for someone else's sale. When you sell on Amazon and a customer buys from your business, whose customer is that? Not yours. Yes, they bought your product, but they did so using Amazon's platform, site features, and most likely, fulfillment centers. So that's Amazon's customer. Doing business on your own website gives you finer control over customer targeting and remarketing. This is rather important if you're thinking about scaling your business anytime soon. You can utilize strategies like personalized email lists or targeted social media marketing campaigns to collect customer contact information and keep them in your ecosystem. Next time they need to purchase, it's no longer back to Amazon, but a conscious decision to revisit your brand. So why is Amazon often better than your own website? Now, there are several reasons why taking advantage of the Amazon marketplace is better for those looking to start their own business and most of them have to do with an inherent head start from the get-go. Momentum isn't easy to come by as a new entrepreneur online. If visibility, convenience, and growth are priorities of yours, Amazon is the place to be. I mentioned earlier how having your own website affords you a spotlight to keep the attention on you, rather than other sellers in your space. While that's true, you still need an audience to get to your spotlight in the first place. In the e-commerce world, this is known as traffic. Unlike the physical world, traffic online keeps things moving, increases sales, and generally spells success for most brands. In a lot of ways, traffic is the lubricant and lifeblood of any online business model. And there is no greater exposure to constant, high buyer intent traffic than on Amazon. As of 2020, Amazon leads by an almost comical amount, when it comes to e-commerce marketplace traffic. Keep in mind, these numbers are in the millions, meaning Amazon nets roughly 3.6 billion visitors every month. Simply put, you will not find this kind of access to this many online shoppers in one place anywhere else on the internet. And that's not a surprise, with Amazon Prime membership and a product selection second to none, Amazon is the first place many people look. Not only is Amazon the mecca for consistent, high-volume customer traffic, but customers who come to Amazon usually come to buy. Where brand websites do generate purchases, Amazon is responsible for 47% of online purchases worldwide. When you trace success back to revenue, back to profit, back to sales, and finally back to the customer's decision to buy, it starts to make sense why the Amazon marketplace is the favorite of e-commerce sellers. You would think anything that's as popular as Amazon would have one of the most accessible beginner-friendly platforms in the world. And you'd be right. All you need to do to get started is first choose your selling plan. You can choose an individual plan with a 99 cent fee for every sale or go professional with a $40 monthly payment, regardless of how many sales you rack up. Next, choose which kind of seller you want to be. 
interested in bargain hunting products in a physical retailer, then reselling them for a profit on Amazon? Or maybe you'd rather create, design, and manage your own brand. Maybe you'd like to do a mix of both. Amazon has efficient systems in place to cater to virtually any kind of seller you want to be. Third is to get set up with Amazon FBA. This is where the rubber really meets the road for new sellers. Once you choose your product and find a supplier to produce it, Amazon FBA takes care of receiving, packing, storing, and shipping your product as you make sales. Now, there are fees involved, however Amazon FBA effectively eliminates the rather large business hurdles of finding a warehouse to manage inventory and the constant, hands-on shipping concerns that come with it. Amazon FBA also handles general customer service and returns. For many sellers, the established infrastructure and resources that Amazon hosts are, alone, enough incentive to start selling on the platform. Just go and make your Seller Central account, create your first listing, and start selling. With little more than bank and tax info, proof of identification, and a business email address, you can get your Amazon Seller account set up in no time. This will be your Amazon Selling Hub to access your sales data, advertising efforts, and a place to manage your product listings. But don't forget, before you do anything, you need to choose the best product to sell on Amazon. When shopping on Amazon yourself, you may have noticed when you search for a product, the first few results on page 1 usually show sponsored product listings. When you see a sponsored product listing, it means that the Amazon seller is using the Amazon sponsored ad platform to promote their Amazon listings to the top of the list. Amazon pay-per-click advertising allows new Amazon sellers to begin promoting their products without any prior advertising knowledge. As the name suggests, sellers only pay when a shopper clicks on their ad. With the option for manual or automatic ad campaigns, Amazon ads allow sellers to choose their advertising budget range ahead of time so they can manage how much of their resources go into their advertising efforts. Amazon pay-per-click is one of the best ways to increase product visibility and boost sales, all while being able to view your advertising analytics on Amazon or by using an Amazon ad manager. Now, with any new e-commerce venture comes the stress of learning a new business. Finding the right products to sell, how to deal with customer complaints, perfecting your advertising budget, and learning how to make your product listing shine where others fail. One of the biggest benefits of selling on Amazon is the treasure trove of resources available to you as a seller. Not only are there countless Facebook communities and networking opportunities revolving specifically around the Amazon space, but there are also specialized Amazon selling tools available to take your Amazon business from one-of-a-kind hobby to six-figure business. Take Jungle Scout for example. A keyword and product research tool to help you hone in on the phrases Amazon shoppers are using the most and choose a winning product based on consumer behavior. It also comes with Amazon listing optimization techniques to make sure the Amazon algorithm spots your product page first and often. You can also use it for proactive product monitoring and security to make sure hijackers are not tampering with your Amazon listing and tinkering with your prices. And it comes with a free Amazon Chrome extension that allows you a deep and instant look under the hood of your competition. Anyway, I left a link for you in the description if you want to check it out. Now, can you sell on Amazon and on your own website? Not only can you sell on Amazon or through your own website, it's something you should seriously consider. It's the synthesis of both e-commerce strategies into one, unified sales funnel. You've just stumbled onto the beauty of e-commerce, using almost every tool at your disposal to direct sales and build a loyal audience, all pointing towards your Amazon product page. Your Amazon online store and product listing should remain your focus. This is ultimately where most of your customers will be making their purchases, it's where a large part of your paid advertising efforts should live, and frankly, it's the place you will have the most support. If you were a serious fisherman, you wouldn't spend your time around the local pond, you'd be out in the ocean. Yes, Amazon is an increasingly competitive space, but it's also where you have the best shot at carving out serious monthly profit for yourself. Yes, in some cases, business decisions will come down to an either-or. However, don't let anyone tell you that you must choose between selling on Amazon or curating your own website. While there is a degree of overlap between them, that overlap complements each side in different ways, bringing balance to your online business. Unless you have an extremely focused niche and a specialized plan of action for a single platform, a balanced, holistic e-commerce business is often the most successful. Now, if you want to take the Amazon FBA approach, there are a few steps involved in building an Amazon FBA business. 
and I wouldn't recommend piecing together everything by simply watching videos on YouTube. This is why I suggest investing your time in a great free training that can guide you through this process. I recommend this training because this is the best training on the market and one that I have personally gone through. They walk you through every aspect of what it takes to start, grow and scale your Amazon business. This training will build off of what I talk about inside my videos so I left a link for you in the description and if you're serious about selling on Amazon I encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching and please make sure to watch the next videos with more Amazon FBA tips that will show up right about now.